When it comes to history, there are many things that we know because of various texts and other artifacts that have been found. It's bigger, isn't it? Yeah. This is why we know about things like the dinosaurs or the Roman Empire, or that we used to love wearing white wigs just to make ourselves look regal. But equally as important, we still have many glaring holes in our history that we don't fully understand. It's coming. Yeah. Oh, this is right. That's a nice break. This goes beyond things like new species or lost ruins and into the realm of how did this even exist? Or how could these people have done that? And to this day, there are plenty of mysteries that we're still seeking the answers for. With all that being said, here now are 20 unexplained historical mysteries that experts cannot solve. Number 20. Red Hair Giant Cannibals I'm going to begin with a classic because the tale of the red-headed giant cannibal of Lovelock Cave in Nevada is the perfect example of where history meets speculation, controversy, and uncertainty. The Lovelock Cave location is actually a real place in Nevada, and there were bones of humans that were found there. These bones were then said to tie to local Native American legends about giants that lived in the area in ancient times and were said to be cannibals. Given how human nature is, that's a story that took off and ingrained itself in our culture, with people believing that the bones that were found were of those giants. So were they? Well, not exactly. First off, yes, the bones that had hair remaining did have red hair. However, that was more than likely due to chemical shifting caused by the area itself. Specifically, chemical staining, which shifted the color from black to red. As for the claim that they might be giants, well, that was never stated by the official findings and the finders. The bones that were discovered were about two meters in height. You know, the height of an average tall human. So then, how did it all happen? Well, the bones themselves were collected in the 1970s and then sent into storage under the title of Giant Bones. Well, that'll spark a tale or two. Then there is the real myth told by Native American people that state that there were red-headed giant cannibals that the Native Americans had to come together in order to defeat. They sent those giants into the cave and then figured out how to suffocate them, thus ensuring a battle between the groups never occurred. So, when the bones were discovered and marked like that, people's imaginations just took off. My Indian friends tell me they were cannibals. And the rest, as they say, is history. Well, a certain kind of history, just not the accurate kind. And that's why, in both history and life, you have to check your sources. Now it's time for the fancy topic. For today's fancy topic, Historians were forbidden to study these mysterious findings. It sounds like a great title leading into a great historical find. So when you look at these pictures, and you know why that title is misleading, yep, these pictures are fake. According to the tale that's told with the picture, there were a set of massive tablets that were discovered in India, and ever since their discovery, people have been trying to figure out what exactly the deal is and what it could all mean. Apparently, multiple civilizations came to try and figure it all out, including the Germans during World War II. The tale claims that not one could figure it out, and the mystery continues. The truth? Well, that never happened, and for obvious reasons, that goes beyond the very Photoshop photos that you're looking at. First off, one of these ancient tablets is of Cthulhu, and true believers know that you don't simply make a tablet out of it, you make a giant statue in his honor, or else you'll be cursed for all of eternity. Duh. Plus, non-believers can't even look at his face, or else they'll hear a scream in their minds that will never go away. Anyways, the other thing to note here is that Germans didn't get to India at any point in their Third Reich. It was the British that called that place home for an incredibly long time. To be fair, there have been tablets found in various civilizations that were mysterious and took some time to be cracked. The most famous of these is arguably the Rosetta Stone, which had helped to unlock the ancient Egyptian languages within the pyramids and beyond. Going back to the title of this piece, there's no way that anyone could have found these tablets and then not been allowed to study them. Sure, there are sites that are untouchable in the more grand sense, but those are very few and far between. As always, you can comment down below using the hashtag fancy topic and let me know your thoughts in relation to what you just saw on the screen. Number 19. Shackled Skeletons 
To find the remains of various peoples of the past is not an uncommon thing. In fact, we already showed you that in our first entry. But the twist, as it were, is that often it's about the state or condition of skeletons and what they depict through their finding. For example, in a place near Athens, Greece back in 2016, a mass grave would be discovered. And, of course, this alone would make for quite the finding, but as that would imply, something of great significance happened to cause a mass grave, and it would give researchers plenty of bodies to study. That's not the weird part that's so mysterious, though. The grouping of 80 skeletons were lined up next to each other, with 36 of them bound in iron shackles. That raises all kinds of questions, including why some of them were shackled and others weren't. Why just those 36? And were they all buried at once? And why were they lined up as they were in that grave? The little details can help to shed a big light on the history as a whole. Two small vases, found amongst the shackled skeletons, allowed scientists to date the grave to be between 650 and 625 BC. That dating becomes key, as that points to a rather tough period of Greek history where there was a whole lot of infighting, and that led to many people pointing to a tyrant named Salon as the cause for this mass grave. However, he was not the one who killed them, but rather, these people are believed to have been his followers, and so they were taken out in a kind of political statement. He tried to take over Athens in a coup attempt, and the people might have tried to help him with that. So, when they were stopped and caught, they were then put to death. It doesn't solve all of the mysteries or even make any sense, but that makes the mystery grow even more. Number 18. The Disappearance of Walter Collins Have you ever seen the Angelina Jolie movie Changeling? Well, this is the real-life story behind that film. Walter Collins was a young boy from Los Angeles who one day had asked his mother for some money to go and see a movie. She happily allowed him to go and see it, and sometime after that departure, he would never be seen again. Naturally, she reported it to the police, who then tried for months and months to find him, but they just couldn't. That is, until a boy from Illinois claimed that he was Walter Collins, and the LAPD latched onto it and gave the boy to the mother. The problem is that she knew that it wasn't him. The police didn't care so much for her thoughts and tried to convince her that it was actually her son. When she refused to accept it, they then threw her into a psych ward. Yes, this really happened. The twist came while the mother was locked up. The Walter imposter revealed that he was actually a child named Arthur, who had simply played the part because he wanted to meet someone from Hollywood, and another person noted that he looked like Walter. The police were embarrassed, the mother was let loose, and the truth about Walter Collins was never answered. A pair of serial killers were later caught and admitted to kidnapping and killing him, but that was never definitively proven. Number 17. The Nazca Lines Easily one of the most mysterious things in the world today, the Nazca Lines can be found in Peru. And whether you look at them from the ground or the skies above, they are quite something to behold. These were made by people known as the Nazca, who came before the people that live in Peru now. For whatever reason, this group of people decided to make lines and shapes in the dirt that were so massive in scale that it actually boggles the mind. Some of these lines are your basic straight lines, while others are geoglyphs that depict plants and animals. The trick is that you can't see the full shapes until you're from a high up position and so the true art that was created can be appreciated. The mystery around the Nazca lines is actually twofold. First, what were they actually used for? Now, it's not uncommon for ancient cultures to make art for themselves or even their gods, but never on this kind of scale. Some of these glyphs are as long as the Empire State Building is high. The other mystery is how they were made with such precision. I mean, really, how could they, back between 500 BC and 500 AD, be able to make such constructs with great skill and accuracy? Nobody can answer that question, and that's why they've been tied to a lot of myths and legends over the years, and were even part of a plot in a Yu-Gi-Oh! series. Number 16. The SS Orang Madan Dive into history enough and you will find plenty of ship stories to sink your teeth into. The one I'm talking about right now is of the SS Orang Madan, which is a true ghost ship story that people are still attempting to figure out. The story came from the 1940s and stated that the SS Orang Madan went out to a certain strait near Indonesia and then exploded. That alone would be mysterious, but not really enough for this list. 
However, the reason that people are so perplexed by it is that the crew didn't die from the explosion, but because of mysterious circumstances that few have ever been able to explain. Some said the vessel was attacked by pirates, while others claimed that it was smuggling dangerous chemicals that suffocated the crew and caused the ship to explode. There are even quite a few conspiracy theories about what really happened to the ship, and there are some who wonder if the ship even ever existed at all. In fact, according to official records, there is no ship that ever went by that name. And so, the fact that the story was ever told at all is a great mystery in and of itself. Number 15. The Scottish Dog Bridge I'm going to be a bit delicate with this one because it's not really that much of a happy topic. And yet, it is a true mystery from recent history that people just don't understand. In a place in Scotland, there's a bridge that dogs are apparently drawn to. Now, that wouldn't be so bad in context if it weren't for the fact that they're taking the opportunity to jump to their doom from this bridge. That's right, there have been cases of over 50 dogs having jumped to their doom here, and nobody can even explain why. Plus, because of there being so many cases, it's been documented that the dogs jump on the same pair of days more times than not, in the same spot, and in the same way. Now, nobody understands it, and I certainly don't like it, and we should just move on from here. Number 14. The Navy Ghost Blimp You're going to see a few aviation tales on this list today, beginning with the infamous U.S. Navy Ghost Blimp that people are still trying to figure out. The blimp, known as L-8, was a Navy blimp that was in service in World War II. In 1942, it was sent out on a mission to try and find Japanese subs. It went to its location and back. However, when it returned, the two-man flight crew wasn't there. This was proven when the blimp literally crash-landed into the streets of Daly City, California, and there was nobody on board. So that leaves a very spooky question. Where did everyone who was there actually go? Well, that is a great mystery, and we never got a straight answer. Some believe that they jumped out or even fell out of the blimp, while others look to more supernatural reasons. The fact remains, though, the blimp came back, and the people never did. Number 13. Tutankhamun's Curse The finding of King Tut, aka Tutankhamun, was one of the most important archaeological discoveries in history. It was the one that helped to spark an archaeological frenzy of sorts, with people rushing out to Egypt to try and find more pieces of its history and see what else could be unearthed. However, the team that found the tomb of King Tut started to have a little bit of bad luck. Specifically, a couple of their members had died after unearthing the tomb. Thus began the legend of Tutankhamun's curse, also known as the Curse of the Pharaohs. The curse is so well known that it's eked its way into pop culture on many levels, and many today still believe that it's true. Now, to be clear, those members of the archaeology team did die, but it wasn't because of any kind of curse. In fact, the remaining team members would later admit that they were the ones who had helped create and spread the curse as a hoax so that tomb raiders wouldn't come and try and steal all of the precious artifacts. People tend to back off when they think they're going to be cursed and perish from the earth. For further proof that this is all bunk, you only need to look at Egyptian history. Specifically, there is no Egyptian text in the pyramids, scrolls, or any other kind of dialogue that was made that said that they believed in curses or that gods would deliver them down on people. However, to a suspicious and superstitious mind, it was as good as a death sentence, so they all stayed away. Number 12. The Assassination of JFK When a world leader is killed under any circumstance, it's big news for all of the wrong reasons. However, the death of U.S. President John F. Kennedy remains one of the weirdest and perhaps most mysterious assassinations in history. And to this day, people still don't agree about things like the second shooter or the grassy knoll. Officially, Lee Harvey Oswald was the shooter and got three rounds into Kennedy, which killed him nearly instantly. However, when you look deeper into the shooting, certain things don't add up. The angle that Oswald had on the president doesn't work where Kennedy was hit, 
and that led to a lot of theories that he had an accomplice who also shot Kennedy from another perspective. It also doesn't help that the investigation into things didn't go smoothly, and they even lost the president's brain after it was taken out to be examined. As such, the mystery over the assassination of JFK is a key part of American history, and not one that may be solved anytime soon. Number 11. D.B. Cooper from one iconic figure to another, D.B. Cooper is one of the most legendary thieves in history. He was able to hijack a plane by convincing a flight attendant that he had a bomb in his briefcase. After that plane landed in Seattle, Washington, he then held the flight crew hostage and demanded $200,000 from the FBI, along with four parachutes. They complied, and Cooper had the plane take off once again. When he did so, he let it go for a while before jumping out with the money and the parachutes over a forested area. He and the majority of the money were then never seen again. The bold claim that he died in the descent and the money simply washed into local rivers and such, but scraps of the money would later be found with no sign of Cooper. So that leaves the question, what happened to him and the money? And nobody truly knows the answer. Number 10. The Voynich Manuscript I've shown you many different things on this list so far, and many of them can be solved if the right pieces of the puzzle were to actually come together with the right people involved. However, with the Voynich Manuscript, this is a mystery that may be never solved in the literal sense, as nobody can actually translate what the book is trying to say and depict. Here's what is known, though. Based on the text itself and by dating of the materials, it appears that this manuscript was created during the 15th century at the time of the Italian Renaissance. That's honestly rather fascinating, as it's a key part of world history. However, when you try and read the book, well, you can't as it's written in a language that only the author seems to know, and there is no codex or clues on how to decipher it. That's like when children make up a new language that only they understand, and the adults then try to figure it out with no clues outside of what's being portrayed in front of them. Even more weird than the manuscript itself would be its illustrations. They depict all kinds of weirdly drawn humans with exaggerated proportions and weird things happening with them, and nobody even knows how to describe what's going on in some of the images, as they are kind of gross, but you get the general picture of what's going on with what you're seeing now. The irony of the Voynich Manuscript is that because we can't tell what it's saying, we can't truly rule out anything about the intent of the book or what it's not. Everything's on the table simply because it's something that no one can decipher, and that's not how these things are supposed to be. Some people are intrigued by the mystery of the manuscript, and some people find it flat out annoying and frustrating. Number 9. The Flannan Isle Mystery Lighthouses were once one of the most important parts of the naval world, and the lighthouse keepers who took care of them were equally as vital. Enter the Flannan Isle Mystery, where in 1900, three lighthouse keepers were found to be missing from the isle after the lighthouse had gone dark. Where they went and what actually happened to them remains a mystery to this day. The easiest answer is that a storm had caused their death, but the bodies were never recovered, so that's hard to actually prove. Another theory is that the men had a fight amongst themselves which led to their deaths, either accidentally or intentionally. No matter what the logic or reason may be, the men vanished despite the lighthouse being in good condition when the sailors went to look for them, and there was even a bird awaiting its master. So then, what happened to these men? Number 8. The Antikythera Mechanism Here's another classic that has to be discussed. The Antikythera Mechanism is a device that was found in a Greek shipwreck and is an example of an analog computer, or to put it a bit more basic, a special kind of nautical calculator. This device was apparently built and designed so precisely that anyone who had it would be able to track the position of the sun, the moon, stars, and even more, and do it all with great accuracy. That's a perfect device to have on a ship where knowing your location and the position of everything above you can guide your way. But there is also more. The thing also acted as a kind of calendar, which would allow people to know when the next eclipse was coming and even when the next Olympic Games were going to be held. It's an incredible piece of technology, and that's where the mystery comes into play. You see, based on all accounts, it was made between 100 to 200 BC, which is way before anything else of its kind would be produced. For context, the next device like it appeared in Europe in the 14th century. 
So then, how did the ancient Greeks not only realize how to make this, but to make it so accurate to future events? The mystery was so pronounced that people spent many years after it was found in 1901 trying to figure out exactly how it worked, even taking x-rays of the device to try and figure out what was inside of it. The Greeks were incredibly brilliant people, there's no doubt about that, but doing something like this, well, that's on a completely different level, and yet they were able to accomplish it. Just don't ask me how or why. Number 7. Spiral of Skeletons As noted earlier, finding bones of ancient people is not all that mysterious. However, finding bones of ancient people that have been clearly posed to look like a spiral, well, that'll do it for most people. Mexican archaeologists found a 2,400-year-old burial site where skeletons were laid out in a spiral pattern. Outside of Game of Thrones, this kind of thing is unheard of. Now, obviously, people wanted to figure out what was going on with this, and one of the early signs pointed to it being some kind of ritual by the ancient people that lived in the area. We know from other findings that various rituals were done in order to please the gods, and so placing people like this wouldn't be too far out of the realm of possibility. Oh, and it's really, really creepy as well. Number 6. The Atacama Skeleton Here's another case where the skeleton's circumstances were more important than the initial finding itself. The Atacama skeleton was found in Chile within a desert, believe it or not, and one look at the skeleton and you can tell it's not exactly what skeletons are supposed to look like. It has a very elongated head, its proportions are all wrong, and more. Upon being shown to the world, people immediately cried out alien and tried to make the case that aliens were here among us the entire time. Now, obviously, that is not true. Atta, as she is known, was proven to be human by her DNA. Just as important, these were multiple deformations within her genomes that would lead to her more unique features. Still, though, she is a mysterious mummy, and it begs the question of whether there are more like her out there. Number 5. Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 As I've already shown you, not all mysteries are of the we-need-to-figure-it-all-out kind of historical glory type. Some mysteries are truly sad ones that people need to solve in order to get closure, such as is the case of those who knew people aboard Malaysia Airlines Flight 370. On March the 8th of 2014, the plane took off like it had done many, many times before. And without warning or even reason why, it then went off the radar and would never be seen again. The moment that the plane was presumed to be lost at sea, the biggest search in aviation history took place, to the point where people spent years in official and unofficial capacities trying to find clues to where the plane had gone. Despite many incredible efforts, no trace of the plane's body, crew, or passengers were ever located. Small fragments were believed to have been found, but that's about it. It remains the single deadliest case of aircraft disappearance in history, with all 239 of the plane's occupants presumed to be deceased. The fact that we can't answer this mystery is the true tragedy, and many families out there want it solved simply so that they can truly put their loved ones to rest. Number 4. A Tied Up Mummy now, believe it or not, mummies have been found in all kinds of weird places and positions over the years. You may recall the infamous screaming mummies that have been found in several places. In Peru, yet another mummy was discovered, except this one was the proper size but was tied up with rope. The belief is that the mummy was about 1,200 years old, and when you look at how it was tied up, you can tell that it was actually intentional. Yet that doesn't answer the question of why someone would want to tie up a person like that before burying them. Was it a sinister motive? Was it some kind of ritual? The world may never know. Number 3. The Paula Jean Weldon Disappearance If you want another missing person case, well allow me to introduce you to Paula Jean Weldon. She was a student at Bennington College in Vermont when she decided to go hiking one day and then simply never came back. Once her roommate had reported her missing, the college and the local area began a massive search, but to no avail. At the time, there was not a state police investigation, which meant that local sheriffs were in charge of finding leads, but they found absolutely none. That's what led to the formation of the Vermont State Police. Sadly, even with that good coming out of it, Paula Jean Weldon was never seen again, and her vanishing remains a true mystery. Number 2. 
the Mary Celeste. Now, here's another ghost ship story, where this time it's a classic tale of the Mary Celeste. The ship went missing in 1872 when it set out on a voyage with a full crew and cargo, and then, off a set of islands, it would be discovered to have no one on board. The ship was seaworthy, yet the crew was simply gone. Equally as curious, the lifeboat for the vessel was gone, but just about everything else that the crew had aboard would be left untouched. That led to many theories and speculations about what had happened to the ship and where the crew actually was. If the ship was seaworthy, even if it was slightly damaged, why was it abandoned? The logs that would have indicated why the ship was abandoned were never found, and of course, and of course, the question becomes, what happened to the crew once they presumably got onto the lifeboat? Nobody knows, and the legend grows with each and every passing year. Number 1. Graveyard of Giants I started with some giants and I'm going to be ending with them, but before you start making Goliath references, you need to know some key context. First, the graveyard was found in China and was tied to an ancient Neolithic village that once resided there. Second, the term giant did not refer to how they towered over all the people in the world like we perceive giants to do. Rather, they were simply tall for their time period. So then, that leaves a question. What is the actual mystery? Well, why were these people so tall? Some believe it's because they were high-class individuals, and so they had access to things that allowed them to be healthy, and thus, much more taller than everyone else. That's all from the realm of history and the many mysteries that we still don't have the full answers to, and may never actually get. Were you astonished by the tales you were told today? Let me know all about it in the comments down below. You should also check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I will see you next time.